for centuries. We have called out to the universe, looking for answers. When we think of planets, we think of them as orbiting around a star. But what if something should happen to that star which leaves the planet all alone? Or if something happens to the planet which causes it to slingshot away from its star system on an endless lonesome journey through the cosmos? Astronomers have theorized about the existence of such rogue planets for decades, and it's only recently that we actually found them. But they can be incredibly difficult to discover. After all, once they leave their parent star, they becomes near invisible against the blackness of space. The planet will find itself in an eternal state of night, and the only visible light would come from the galaxy itself. Some estimate that there could be billions of rogue planets in the Milky Way alone, but so far, we've only found a handful, most of which could just as well be brown dwarfs, or in other words, a failed star. the Sun. At its core, the immense pressure and temperatures produce a staggering 15 million degrees Celsius. Here, sunlight is produced enough to bounce around the solar interior for up to 200,000 years. It finally reaches the surface to be released into space. At the surface, the Sun is a lot cooler but still incredibly hot. It's still around 5,500 degrees or so, Yet here on the surface of the Sun we have found water. Not in a liquid state, but in the form of steam. More specifically, this water has been found in these darker, slightly cooler regions called sunspots. When we look up, we can see billions of galaxies and trillions of stars. They generally look evenly spread out. But in 2015, scientists spot something strange. This supervoids is 1.8 billion light years across, making it the largest individual structure ever identified by humanity. This void has 20% less matter, 10,000 less galaxies than would be expected, that equates to about a thousand trillion stars, all missing. Why does Bo-T's void exist? One theory suggests that it might be a remnant of cosmic inflation, a window into the universe's early moments. Others ponder the role of dark energy and dark matter. This is the Milky Way galaxy, home to planet Earth. The Milky Way is part of a large group of galaxies known as the local group, consisting of more than 54 gravitationally bound members. Most of them are quite small, with the exception of Andromeda, the Milky Way, and Triangulum. A few billion years into the future, these larger members will collide and eventually form a much larger galaxy, nicknamed Milkromeda. Now, let's go much further into the future, about 100 billion years from now. Imagine that somewhere within Milk Dromeda, a habitable planet gives rise to a civilization of intelligent beings, much like ourselves. At some point, they invent a powerful new telescope, which will allow them to explore space beyond the galaxy. But as they peek through the telescope, they find nothing. Nothing but darkness and empty space. Milk Dromeda would appear to be a bastion of light in a sea of darkness. As the age of the cosmos approach 100 billion, the expansion of the universe will cause all of the galaxies to vanish beyond the cosmic light horizon. This means that light from other galaxies will no longer be able to reach us. Thirteen point eight billion years ago, the universe began. In one moment there was nothing, and the next, there was everything. But how will the universe end? For years, scientists have speculated how the universe could end, but no one could ever know for certain. One theory is the concept of the Big Crunch. This would occur if there isn't enough dark energy 
the mysterious form of energy that acts as a counterforce to gravity to prevent the entire universe from collapsing in on itself. Another idea is that the universe will continue to expand for such a long time that all stars burn out and all planets die until they are left floating in space at temperatures barely above zero. This hypothesis is known as the Big Chill. 